Okay nice nimepata nafasi ya kupiga story na The Bold mimi naitwa Mr. Double J. Asante sana kwa yeye ambaye tunakuwa pamoja siku zote kupitia ulimwengu wa siasa. Brother inakuwaje? Ni kwa salama sana. Uko poa. By the way, nime realize watu wengi sana wanaita The Bold. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think hiyo ndo sasa hivi na una, unajua ki search pale The Bold eh, inakuja haraka sana. Mm, lakini naitwa Kevin. Unaitwa Kevin. Kevin Odwar. Lakini The Bold the brand so the pia ni fresh. Yeah. Wewe kwako una unapenda una kutumia gani? na ni kwa sababu gani uliamua uitumie au utumie the bold uh, kutoka kwa Kevin Odoro nadhani hii haujai zungumzia wacha tu, utuambie sasa hivi uh, lakini nadhani kusema Kevin Odoro uh-huh. ni jina okay. uh, ni mtu ambaye anafanya podcast ambaye anaitwa the bold baada watu wajui uh-huh. the bold ni podcast the bold ni podcast yes ni political podcast Ah. Eh, sasa unaji post kingine pamoja nasema line moja. Uh-huh. So zile mbona tunafanya ni political podcast ambayo inafanya analysis. Uh-huh. Yes, that's what the bold. Na bold concept ni kwamba uh-huh. hatutaogopa bwana. Sio. Tukombe ukweli tu. Nice. Straight away kabisa uh, nataka tuzungumzie sasa hivi uh, ukiulizwa uh, kwamba serikali ya William Samoe Ruto imefikia wapi? ni kitu kipi ambacho unaweza kuzungumza yani wamefikia situation gani hali iko vipi yani in short au in general sasa hivi wako wapi allow me say in english okay. they are in the middle of nowhere in fact they don't have a routine that whatever william ruto thought was a mongrel of a government Uh, you remember that handshake arrangement between Rail and Ruto and Uhuru. Yeah. I can tell you that Ruto came to government and started from nowhere mm-hmm. and is in the middle of nowhere. You know why? Mm-hmm. There seems to be a lot of elite and I've mentioned this over time mm-hmm. that want the state house team the mistake they are making is they are surrounding themselves with people that are speaking very big English. Mm-hmm and doing bold and doing boardroom um, boardroom governance bedroom economics there is a difference between what is on the ground and what is in the boardroom ruto has allowed himself to listen to the david dees and the group you know they have formed a council of economic advisors okay. that's a bunch of people that want to eat money and mislead the president and let me, let me tell you okay. what ruto will do the shrewd politician he is huh? when he's going to seek re- uh, re-election and realize that things are not going on well he will actually blame those advisors he will actually blame them because things vitu as they work in fact watch and show to in in simple i, I think well, let's, let's try throwing some sing, simple english vitu as they work you things are not adding up What Ruto is doing now is just paying salaries. It's that. <laughs> you know how much does it cost to launch housing project? Whatever was launched in Kibera, uh-huh. it was just launching. Then it was just go you know, go interact with the people show. In fact, let me tell you. you remember when uh, Tanga Tanga thing came? Okay. When Uhuru was saying that you are launching projects and they are not budgeted for. You remember that? That's what he is doing. You may not be surprised what 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 was happening in in this country was Uhuru was was a sympathetic president Uhuru knew that my people have gone through covid these people don't have jobs people are hungry people are going through a lot and so Uhuru gave people money in Kazim okay. but in not in a nutshell this is what has caused the problem There seems to be an activism against former president Uhuru Kenya Uhuru Kenyatta. So Ruto is actually a position within the same government. And now he is opposing what Uhuru Kenyatta did blindly without knowing that in government there is what is called institutional memory. And institutional memory is what there is a precedence. Unaelewa? A decision by former president Uhuru Kenyatta to give people money through Kazim Taani was not informed by economic uh, boardroom economics it was informed by national intelligence that people are angry and people are bitter vijana wanataka kazi it was not and, and that's the point 
people were given kazi mtani to be given money not because of economy or oh, nini it was given because the intelligence was telling uhuru kenyatta that look here mm -hmm. these people are angry hawana pesa so we look at something that's what happened with kazi kwa vijana when Raila was a prime minister why was that in, was that project introduced it was introduced to make people have money remember we were coming from 2010 mm -hmm. 207 post election general, uh, general election people things were bad so vijana hawana kazi he is actually acknowledging that things are not there and what is causing the problem is william ruto 2 has formed a strategy to oppose uhuru 1 uhuru 2 now that opposition everything una pinga tu pinga pinga e pinga Pinga, unapinga for the sake of you being seen as a new man in office. But in real sense, you're missing the president's beat. That's my point. Unadani anapoteza points tukifika mwaka 2027 itakuwa ni tofauti na namna ambavyo labda hata yeye anafikiria kwamba anaweza ka anaweza kafanikiwa tena. Ana lose points? I want to answer you that question. Mm -hmm. By a tweet I think uh, I, no, I had a screenshot in my lap. Kwa sababu watu sasa hivi wana wanalia, wanasema jamaa 2027 basi atukupei tena. Look at my fingers. 3. 3 scenarios in 2027. I can tell you. One is Ruto you did nothing, you have to go. That's scenario number 1 in 2027. And that scenario will not be on the ground of that tribe and this tribe. You know why? Mm -hmm. Mount Kenya left one of their own. Uhuru Kenyatta. On the ground that Uhuru never did anything to them. You know? What will stop the And Mount Kenya is what made William Ruto the president. When you remove Mount Kenya, the whole story dies. But si ni wako loyal. Si wanasemaga wako loyal. So sisi tuliamua Ruto kumi atakama. Unajua wako wanasemaga wako loyal. So itakuwaje. Loyalty. Loyalty to Uhu, William Ruto uh -huh. was a protest against Uhuru Kenyatta. Na siye tiku mba awa kujua Ruto ni mbaya. Wanamujua siye tiku mba wa mjui. Lakini wakasium vitu vibaya vyote kuhusu William Samuel Ruto. Wakasema kwa mba sisi so watu mbao ni wakona kona. Sisi tunampea, tulisha amua tunampea. Hata kama na ubaya tunampea. Awoni kama hii bado ita... Let me tell you. The, the bombshell is this. Some analysts say the storm or the bombshell. The Mamamboga story. <laughs> the bombshell is this. If you don't give it, and you know, let me tell you, uh, Dabo, I have spoken to, I've had the privilege of speaking to some two senior people. Uh -huh. I've interviewed Koigi Omwere. Uh -huh. I've spoken to Ruben Kigami. These two people have said something, that they've told me something that is, is similar. Uh -huh. All of them were telling me, Kevin, if you don't give what you promised mm -hmm. you won't get re-election that's truth that's it they won't re-elect you you know why mm -hmm. you've also come on a platform that election is we, we have election freedom we have a, we a growing democracy mm -hmm. the same growing democracy that gave you a win a contested win the 200,000 gap is the same democracy that can also allow kenyans to allow you serve one time so we have one we have one option one option if you don't deliver you go home Number two uh -huh. is you deliver, you remain. If you deliver, you get it. Number three is to complain, add excuse, uh -huh. and manage expectations. And just make sure the narratives are right. Oh, my boy, 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 boy. Number three is this. Eh? Number one is uh, you, you don't work, you go home. Number two, you work, you get it. Number three uh -huh. is this. You just throw excuses. You know, he's now said, and I listened, and I was so shocked. I was like, what is this guy saying? You know, he was in Kibera saying, give me one year. Regarding Gashaga was saying, give me three months. By December, this thing will be sorted. Uh -huh. uh, and at one point, Regarding also said, give us two years. Now, he was saying, give, his, give us one year. You know what? One year is next year, September. You know, when he's saying, give us one year, people are not starting to count it at MSM October. September, that is the one year. 
And ikifika wani, I've always said, and mark, the, mark my analysis on this. Mm -hmm. The price of unga will not go beyond 150. It can't go beyond 150. You know what? Look at tokens. It's a cost of production. There are some things that sweet unangalia. Even if uh, we, 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 we might have the enough maize, eh? don't you think there is a cost of distributing that maize? Wait, Ruta amesema me ametupunguzia nani fertilizer watu wa walime no mazao nyingi unga ndio hiyo alafu bei itashuka. Let me tell you. Uh, do you know that that economy story no one is telling you about the population. We are speaking about we are increasing production but no one is telling you in that statement kwamba hii yenye tunazalisha tunapatia watu ngapi? Well, uh, uh, is it, you know, that's the point. That's the trick. We have a growing population. What to talk about as a year? Start complaining. Start looking at it in a wengi, wengi. And the consumption is not only on the, the public consumption. The the closed door consumption. Closed door consumption are people who are in the hospitals, people who are our kids who are in school. <laughs> the, the army wana consume nyama kuliko kila mtu kwa hii kwa hii look at the statistics that's it our our oh my goodness our budget estimate was, estimate was 3.3 trillion okay. we only managed 2.2 trillion to collect we had a budget deficit of 3.3 oh, we have a, a budget deficit of 1 trillion so when he came in, he said, we want to cut it by 300 billion. We want to cut out 300 billion. Cindy, how are we going to change things? These things are not going to change overnight. This is the reality. The price of one will not go down. And even if we give you one year, mm -hmm. you will not take it to 70. Because, who knows? Cost ya kubeba hiyo maindi kupelekea kwa supermarket, ikuwe processed. Ikuwe na iyo nini mtu wa print andike jina brandi yake ya unga. Ndiyo mimi ni enda supermarket na supermarket wajaya kuna wakilipa mtu. What do you think? There is other cost into it. And price of fertilizer is not directly proportional to the price of unga. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, it's not directly proportional. Mtu wa naugopa pia kusema ukweli kwa mba haiweze kani. <laughs> Imekataa. Anaona kama atakosana na, na, na hasla, atafanya, jasa, at, aendele tu kwa danganya at least. Let me, let me, let me say. at least. This is it. Accept the lie. <laughs> I mean, I've said many times that the hustler concept on that plan. Now, now, nani, uh, <laughs> Mutai Nguni was asking uh, Itumbi in Twitter today. He was asking Itumbi, Itumbi. We have seen photos of government flagging fertilizer mm -hmm. from government offices to go to the farmer. Why aren't we seeing photos of the same fertilizer being received by the farmer? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I saw that tweet and I was laughing. I was like, hey. <laughs> so, what, what does that mean? That there is a lot of optics. Even this fertilizer story, it's a lot of optics. Lori's in a coffee lag in Gapi. Ah, uh Lori, -uh. Lori, well, Lori's in the Pelega for the Liza in Chimzima. You can't in Chimzima, Lori. Lori Ningi San. We have some small portion of fertilizers. We go and flag them and take photos and write stories and say, We are flagging. In this sense, I don't want to be at your fertilizer. You go. Do my days, a mechanic. Ah, this is to little fertilizer. Wakulima and Wakulima. I'm not sure. Do you know what Mutu will tell these people? But as soon as you repair them, and I keep to a bunch of other guys, I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you, tell them, I will give the fertilizer. But somewhere, I'm going to go. These are things beyond us. Where would I change them? It will change goalpost. Goalpost. Goalpost to the end. But what is interesting is the Kenyan voter is very well informed. We in the media spaces, our, our role is very easy. We are just doing data entry. We are just entering the data. 
in keeping the memory September. <laughs> we are waiting for September 13th to buy it at 64. That's below 70. Hey, that's below 70. It can't get to 100. Wait, wait. Let me ask Kenyans. When last did you buy Unga? Below 200. Kama ni kitu ingewezekana kupeana fertilizer ishuke. Kwani what will stop Uru from giving that fertilizer? <laughs> A very nice question. Kama ilikuwa ni kupeana tu fertilizer na punguza bei ya unga. Mm. Ah, basi najua uru. In fact kama kuna mtu angefanya hivyo ni uhuru angefanya. 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 These people advising uhuru want to tell me uhuru did not have sharp advisors like the David ndi. Mm. We no ma inability to malizie na um, issue ya CS. Inasemekana kwamba wewe na nia hujapata chukua ile Nani chukua ile unadhani hii it affect VP performance ya serikali yake kuweka labda marafiki zake au kuwapea kama zawadi zi nafasi kwako unaizungumziaje una kwa sababu kuna wengine ambao uh, wanadaiwa kwamba sheria sijui na nini hairuhusu uh, wao kupata nafasi kwenye afisi za serikali na vitu kama hivyo lakini nimeona wote hakuna mtu hata mmoja ambaye amesemekana kwamba hawezi yule nani anaitwaje kuna dada flani pale ambaye kidogo alikuwa ametense na nini pale uh, wakati wa vetting na nini lakini uh, mwisho siku ndio hiyo wamesema kwamba yuko sawa um, let me say let me just explain a bit about that malonza i am persuaded i've been asking who brought malonza's name you know malonza is from kitui and now kamba have two cabinet nominees alfred mutua and malonza from where I'm seated, I have a very stupid thought, very wild thought that Malonza was brought there by Kalonzo Musioka. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not shocked. I have a stupid thought that somewhere behind the scene, Kalonzo and the letter Malonza. Who is that Malonza? You know, you know, you know that's why, let me tell you, her story was very special. I listened to the argument by MPs at Angeongea Kizungu Mzuri. Look, look. It's Aizishindwa. How about Paranya? Paranya was very good in English but very heavy wordings. Heavy in wordings. There is what is called speech rate. The only problem Malonza had is what is called speech rate, not mastery of the English language. Someone can have a low speech rate, and speech rate is normally influenced by different things, even as we do analysis. Sometimes when you don't have, you don't master your topic, mostly utaongea pole pole, because your thought process is also corrupted. Una sure. take time kufikiria. That's what that lady went through. So, between yesterday, the reason why they went after Malonza, they just, MPs just went after Malonza to send a red alert. So that Moses, Sweta, Moses Kuria, Yaisha Juma could make calls in the lobby. The kind of lobbying that happened last night. <laughs> this, they knew, they knew very well they would not shoot down any name. They will not shoot down any name. And if they were to shoot down name, it will not be on the basis of someone did not impress. What is the role of the cabinet secretary? Is policy direction it's just policy direction mostly implementation is let me say a government a ministry have different departments and if i'm saying fallacy someone should just say in the comments different departments these departments run different projects and some and ministries are also stemmed working with some different parastatals for example ministry of energy will work with kenjen Kenya power, Kenya power falls under Ministry of Energy. See you? So, because the minister Paliju ni ku assemble the team and he's a vision bearer. So that our MBA, from our manifesto ya national government, ya we call the plan to refer to fanyi hii. To fanyi hii. Akia toka cabinet anakunya na influence from who? Back to the parent ministry. That's it. So, mtu wa hezi jindu wapa on the grounds of kizungu. Mink is jindu mtu sijua hezi ongea kizungu. That's it. The truth is, the MPs did not really mean well. But, on cabinet selection, mm -hmm. I know there is a lot of cronism. 
na kupata sababu wewe tulikampenda wewe vibaya sana na tuliteswa na uhuru it's very it's very convenient wewe tu wewe tu na wewe wewe tulitoka jubilee tulifukuzwa wewe lazima uta wewe wewe ulikuwa na mimi wakati sijui nini unaelewa sasa this is the challenge and and i and i want and i want uh, I, how i wish the the the, the, the he doesn't have competitors but the alternative voices the minority we don't have a majority we don't have opposition we have minority the minority wing should just allow william ruto and brand the cabinet nominees as representatives of their communities okay okay wafanya hiyo you know why when aisha juma is branded as ah yeye ni sura ya kilifi alafu mtu wa barua wewe ni uluya wewe ni weni hii it's very good you know why it puts tuto in a very delicate situation kesho usikie huko kwa huyo mwenye unasema na represent wakaya huyo ndiye meiba eh and there was a politician unataka kumtoa you know what will happen it will start distracting the hierarchy the demographics huh? the tribal demographics will start changing eh au huyo hata kama ndio wetu ameiba kama mtu wetu ameiba it will change it's a very delicate because it will be very difficult to tell it sasa if you appointed me on the grounds that tuliteswa na wewe so ukinifukuza hiyo kuteswa ilisha utanifukuza aje na ulini appoint kwa sababu tuliteswa au kuti appoint sababu mimi naweza it's a very difficult thing noma noma Uh, nataka niambie maoni yako hapo chini uh, kwenye sehemu ya comments unazungumziaje issue ya uh, masies na nini kupata nafasi kulingana na wewe tulifanya na wewe kazi tulifutwa uh, tukateseka tena kampeni na nini ndio hiyo tumepata chukua tupia maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments anyway maneno yako ya mwisho kwa mtu ambaye anatazama I, oh, I, i saw you were doing a uh, fundraise for ah, uh, yes Ah yes, oh, yes. by the way I should also send my contribution I, I will so I don't know do you have a minimum for what people to send Ah uh, sasa hivi nadhani tulikuwa tunaelekea au tunahitaje um 1100 kwa ajili ya studio yetu eh? and uh, by the way kwa mtu ambaye ananitazama kwa mara ya kwanza au anapata story hii kwa mara ya kwanza uh, studio yetu nadhani tunahitaji tunahitaji vitu kama lights um, studio ambayo ina sound proof nzuri ndio tukifanya production au unapata kitu ambacho kina quality nzuri unajua watu bana wana TV unaona eh so wanataka ile quality ambayo hata ukiweka kwa TV kila kitu kinakaa sawa so naamini kwa mchango wenu na the bold amesema atatuma yake so kama haujatuma yako fresh nambari yangu nimeweka hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini pia naweza nikakutajia 0745608871 na nitashukuru sana tumalizie ah mm. uh, niko nataka sema ni just talk about it because uh, I think I've done two fundraisers, okay. successful two successful fundraisers and I've always known that uh, people come and and some people question why is this why is that um this thing is normally about the growth aspect and for me I normally call you my son I know people don't know <laughs> you're like my son <laughs> you like my son and and of course seeing someone grow is something really really good and I would just add a voice as as we've always done this and always supported and uh, and it's it's really good to make this progress and and show and get to really get something so as team balls as also someone who represents the ball me i'm not doing any fundraiser now uh-huh. but the way you've always supported no you know i don't know whether you realize we raised 1.3 million for sara nakumbuka vizuri yes we raised and 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 i was also in a position to raise another 80 for my camera recently just concluded so just push on uh talk to them and of course i'm also urging the team bold watume tume yao so that malize uh, issue malize issue guli nashukuru sara uh thanks ama watu wa sasa wanafanyaje wanasalimiana vipi make, make <laughs> 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 nice tukutane next time bye bye <laughs>